because it's something I want to talk about this morning. Um, it's Saturday morning and I'm headed to the gym. But like I did not sleep well, which is, you know, not out of the ordinary for me. But other than my mind just running about my life and things that are going on. I was up thinking about somebody I don't even know. This young lady, I don't know if you guys have heard about it or read about her story, Arlana Miller. Um, she was a Southern University cheerleader who took her own life. I don't, you know, know the details. There is a, you know, message that she posted on social media prior to doing so. I haven't seen it um, for my own mental health reasons. You know, I heard about this story through Anthony O'Neill and it really it brought me to tears not even having read her post because mental health is real it's so real so real and it's so sad the stigma that's on it which is why so many people end up at this point where they take their lives and really I can't even say it's the stigma that's on it of why people take their lives like life is heavy like I didn't know or I didn't realize for myself that mental health was something that I struggle with personally really until COVID hit because it forced me to deal with it like there are days that I just don't want to be here like I really feel like I am struggling to stay afloat and here recently I've been feeling like that so when I heard about this young lady it really resonated with me And, you know, it's easy to say, especially because people tend to look at your smile or my smile. Or it's like, I don't know if you guys have ever read that poem, The Mask We Wear. Um, I think it's my Paul Lawrence Lumbar, Dunbar. But it's real, man. It's real. I wake up most days and put on a mask to do life. Because I have to do life. I have kids. I have a husband. I have to do life. But in the inside, I'm dying. Like, I feel like if I were to be drowning, I'm struggling to stay afloat. And, you know, people say, well, you can talk to people. I'm one of those people, one, I don't like to burden people with my problems because life is hard enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, who wants to listen to you, you being depressed? You know what I'm saying? And then there's, okay, well, you know, you can talk to a professional. Yeah, there is that. And I just haven't, I'm, I'm really, truly considering doing so now. I saw a therapist years ago um, when I lived in Louisiana. And I'm thinking about, you know, doing so again because this is, it's just getting so hard. Like, at this point, I don't even know how much longer I can hide my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... 
I know the thing that made me record this is one I felt like it could be therapeutic I watch a lot of people on YouTube and a couple of my favorite people always say things like you know for them YouTube is therapeutic and I felt like okay well maybe if I record myself expressing expressing what I'm feeling which honestly real talk I feel lighter already I do feel lighter already and I know that there are so many people that are dealing with this in silence so many over the past I mean I've always been some been someone that has worked out um i.e I'm headed to the gym now um but most people are under the impression that working out is because I want to look good. Although, I do. I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to bullshit you. I do want to look good. But for me, it's a mental escape from everything. A mental escape. One might say, <laughs> You can't possibly, you know, what are you struggling with? Like, and it really isn't necessarily things that are, you know, going on right now. Or, or although there are things in my life that I struggle with right now that are heavy, a lot of the things that I struggle with are baggage from my past things that have occurred in my life that I've just never spoken about and it's killing me right now like it's killing me I feel like a volcano that just has so much pressure inside and it's about to erupt find myself you know looking in the mirror because like I look at my babies and I know they deserve somebody that's healthy that they deserve somebody who's not struggling the way that I am and I know that I don't want them to go through the things that I go through so I'm always talking to them about their feelings and you know expressing what's going on to me or to their dad or to somebody like guys don't if you have children if you don't have children and you plan on having children like look at the things that cause you to be fucked up and try to teach them a better way because I don't want this shit to be generational for me you know I don't want it to be generational for me I know my mom dealt with depression you know after her and my dad divorced I know she did you know has she ever really you know talked a whole lot about it no but I was there you know what I'm saying and that's one thing about me and I don't know if it's a gift or a curse that God gave me at a young age I was always so aware of people around me and what they're going through So I'm hoping that, you know, me talking about my own shit, like, helps me, and I hope it helps somebody else. Like, if you got to pull your camera out and talk to it, if you have to talk to a friend, you know, although that's not really what I do, but you probably shouldn't do what I do because I'm sitting here in this position right now in tears, but... 
you're not alone. That's the moral of the story. You're not alone. There are so many people, so many stories. How many stories have you heard of just this year alone where people are committing suicide? People who one may think has the perfect life. Like it kills me all the time to hear. Oh, she was so beautiful. She seemed to have the perfect life. Like, that kills me because beauty is like it puts blinders on people. They feel like because you're pretty that you don't have shit to worry about. And that's bullshit. That is bullshit. At least for me. And obviously for those who people have, you know, said those same things about. That's bullshit. Sometimes <laughs> we have the worst shit going on. Like, and I don't know the stories to, you know, these other people because I tend not to, I have to be careful with stuff like that. Like even with George Floyd, I never watched that video until the case was in court because I couldn't bring myself to watch that like I know that that would be a trigger for me and even in watching it when I did watch it I was literally in tears sitting there watching it even you know knowing what I was about to see like do what you got to do to protect your peace protect your peace at any cost because you have to learn your triggers that's the most important thing is learning your triggers whether it's you know a movie whether it's a conversation whether it's you know being in a particular place learn your triggers and try to avoid them and maybe avoiding them isn't really the best thing to do but it helps to keep you out of a place of serious depression you know what I'm saying or even worse something worse like I'm so dedicated to becoming my best self in every way possible every way possible and for everyone else that's struggling I want you to be dedicated to becoming your best self start with something little you know, it's not going to change overnight. The things that have broken you and have you in this place of pain and hurt, it's not going to change overnight. So we can do it together. Like find something, anything small. A lot of people, I've heard a lot of people say, start with something as simple as making your bed. Like I make my bed anyway, because, you know, that's the kind of mom I had growing up. But start with something as simple as making your bed if you don't do that you know something as simple as you know going for a walk doing something to move your body and make yourself healthy like health isn't just about you know exercising it's about what you eat it's about your mental state it's about your surroundings you know if it's about putting yourself around a different group of people do that if it's about reading a book listening to a podcast do that do what makes you feel good because I for me like I barely even watch tv I have literally started to just change everything about my life and you know hope pray because I pray a lot I pray a lot <laughs> that God will take it away that he'll fix it so do what you can to help you May is mental health awareness month there's no time like the present to get started no time it doesn't have to be may it could be june it could be july it could be december for all i care but do something to make you better try to start figuring out when did you become broken 
like reverse engineer it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I had to do. And although I'm not ready to discuss, you know, the things that have caused me to be in this place, I feel better that I can at least acknowledge it and pinpoint it. And then it took me to the place to where I begin to learn, okay, the things that trigger me, you know? So yeah, dedicate, dedicate time to being better, to becoming your best self, especially if you have children. This is real heavy. I'm sorry, y'all. But like this weight so heavy on me. I've been up and thinking about this girl and other people that I don't even know. And it put me in a place which I was already feeling away, but it put me in a deeper place. Like it triggered me. And not necessarily in a bad way because I'm talking about it right now which is I, I feel so much better so let's let's just check in with one another I, I promise that I will do better with like expressing what's going on with myself you know if there are any tips and tricks that anybody has for me you know don't hesitate to leave a message, a comment, or something. Because you can get help. You know, people tend to always feel like, you know, oh, this person, let's just say, is a crackhead. They can't help me. Or this person, they ain't doing this. They can't help me. They ain't no doctor. You can receive wisdom from anybody anybody like random conversations from people who you don't know random encounters you know that's God pay attention to the messages the people the things that God send your way to help you pay attention to that all right it's 741 I'm getting ready to go in here and kill this workout. <laughs> like, I'm getting ready to kill it. Y'all have no idea. It's leg day, my favorite day of the week. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to go in here and kill it. And I know I'm going to feel even more better when I get done with that. So, I hope y'all have a good day. I really do. I really, 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 truly do. I pray that all y'all have a good day. I pray for all y'all who are struggling with this right now. God, give them peace. I pray over the families of all those who have lost their loved ones to mental illness, mental health issues, things that they've been struggling with that nobody knew until it was too late. I pray, God, that you release those things that keep us bound and keep us struggling and keep us in a place of depression and allow us to know that the enemy has no power over us today's gonna be an amazing day an amazing day in jesus name i pray amen y'all be good having a good day